Put food in fire. Ah, good. Cavemen and dinosaurs together? This is so inaccurate. Current scientific thought holds that the dinosaurs died out millions of years before even the most primitive proto-human. Yeah, millions of years before pizza, too. Want me to bring you a baked trilobite instead? I withdraw my objection. So, any idea what Tino is? <sighs> Guys, I just found the coolest place on Earth. I hope this is better than the time you found that super cool lake. Yeah, Puddle was more like it. You guys are gonna love this place, and the best part is, I'm the only one who knows how to get there. Lean in, lean in. It's our own private mountain. I'm gonna take you there tomorrow. I can't remember when I've been so excited. Can it be real? Pinch me. I drift on clouds of joy. No, believe me, this is gonna be worth it. Check this out. Looks like a dead end, huh? But you just squeeze through these rocks here and... Ow. And you're on your way! Whoa! Ow. Ah! Uh. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Almost there. All I can say is this had better be good. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Behold, what few human eyes have ever seen. The summit of the Tino Horn. Oh, yeah. Our own private mountain. Good one, Tino. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hey. Sorry, I forgot about you. So, I guess you just saw what happened. I swear, yesterday, there was no one here, really. It's such a remote, isolated spot. I, I can't imagine how all these people got up here. But it's possible they drove. Great, all the tables are taken. Maybe Tino can find us a secret pool table that nobody else knows about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so I was wrong about the private mountain. You guys are just jealous because I'm practically always right. Well, at least he could have brought us up there the easy way. How was I supposed to know there was an easy way? Well, that two-lane road might have been a clue. Yeah, and the map they give out at the park entrance. All right, me down, you kicking. Akutak is popularly known as Eskimo ice cream. But this treat from the Inuit people of Alaska is neither ice nor cream. In former times, it was made from seal oil and reindeer tallow. Thank goodness we don't live in former times, huh? Now, however, it is pure lard. But just as in the past, fresh berries provide flavor. Oh, or, or at least the berries are good. So, where to now? The beach is closed from that sewage spill. Is that why there was nobody there? I thought it was because it was Tino's own private ocean. Ha! <laughs> That's going on. Dude, you can spit that stuff out now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's still lines for Star Pilots 5. Hard to say. Tino, do you have a what? My own private movie theater? Ha ha ha. Very funny. No, a newspaper. You know, one time I'm wrong, and you guys won't let me forget it. What about all the times I was right about someplace being cool, huh? 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 Like the uh the crevasse? The what? The crevasse? It, you know that place I found when we were like eight? We used to hang out there all the time. It was our favorite place. Doesn't ring a bell. Perhaps you're confusing us with your imaginary friends. She thinks I have imaginary friends. Ha! Huh? Come on, you guys remember? The crevasse. The crevasse! It was the most beautiful place we've ever seen. A huge canyon with a waterfall at one end and a stream running down the middle. There were deer and flowers, and no one was ever there but us. I remember now. You do? I knew you would. Yeah, I remember it. It wasn't that great. What? Wait, is this that little gully Tino always wanted to go to? The one with the funny smell? What are you guys talking about? The crevasse was one of the seven wonders of the world. Yeah, I remember that smell. Kind of like earwax. It was awesome. We all loved it. If it was so awesome, how can we stop going? Because they opened the mall. I mean, the beauty of nature is great, but you can't get chili cheese fries. Come on, I can't believe you guys won't admit that I was right about how cool the crevasse was. Because it wasn't that cool. I mean, yeah, maybe it was kind of nice, but... It wasn't that nice. 
You know what? Maybe we should just drop it. If Kino thinks it was cool... I don't think it was cool. It was cool. And I'll prove that I'm right. We're going there tomorrow. But we were going to go to the Monster Truck Rally. Oh, we could do that any time. We could. If it weren't an annual event that's only tomorrow. Fine. If you guys are too chicken to come and find out that I'm right, I'll just go on my own. All right, we'll go. Just to prove you're wrong. I mean, Laura's the only one who likes that Monster Truck stuff anyway. Hey. Excellent. Tomorrow, the crevasse. Okay, final inventory. Compass, flashlight, water bottles, first aid kit. Check. Binoculars, rope, camp stove. Check. Mosquito netting, ice axe. Look, is this really necessary? Nature has no tolerance for mistakes. I mean, this whole expedition. Can't we all just say that Tino is right and the crevasse is great and just leave it at that? Tish, this isn't about Tino being right or wrong. Because he is wrong. We're right. Nuh uh. Yaha. Uh -huh. Nuh uh. All right, fine. If we're going to fall to this level of childishness, we might as well get some exercise while we're doing it. So, where are we headed? Okay, these are our present coordinates. That's a map of the whole country. And you're pointing at Nebraska. Never mind. I know where we're going. Come on. Are you sure this is the way? I remember there being a trail. Of course it's the way. Right over this ridge is a power station. And then there's that old water tower. I guess maybe they decided people don't need as much power as they thought. Well, Tino, I don't see any water tower. No power station, no water tower. We are definitely going the wrong way. I vote we go back. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? Then you could keep on saying that I was wrong about the crevasse. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying we're lost. Laura, Carver, what do you think? I think I want to see the look on Tino's face when he finally sees his puny, funny-smelling crevasse. I want to settle this thing once and for all. <sighs> why is it so important to you guys to be right? Well, duh. If it's not important to be right, why do they grade tests? That's different. A test... I don't think the important thing is us being right. It's Tino being wrong. <sighs> Can we at least stop for lunch? I'm starving and my feet hurt. Okay. Carver, break out the sandwiches. Uh, sandwiches? Good going, Tino. We brought an ice axe but no lunch? It's not my fault. I told Carver to pack sandwiches. It was on the list. If you guys want me, I'll be over here eating the flashlight. Behold the glory that is the crevasse. Uh-huh. On our planet, we call that a golf course. Okay, all over. Now can we go back? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, I see. Now that you know we're close, you realize that I'm right after all, huh? So, you want to turn back? Well, you won't get off the hook that easy. We're going all the way. We're going to prove I'm right. Victory shall be mine! Forget it, Tino. We're lost. We're going home. Okay, fine. Go home. You don't deserve to see the crevasse. But you know I'm right. You know I'm right! Hurricane lamp, Kaga counter, sandwiches. Oh, man. Sandwiches are on the list. I just forgot to pack them. Tino was right. Hang on. Wait there. You just said Tino was right. So? Well, did it kill you? No, I... So, what's the big deal about being right or wrong? On tests? So what if they grade you on tests? If we were taking a friendship test right now, we'd get an F minus. F is technically the lowest you can... Don't care. Not the point. We just ditched our friend up on that ridge, and why? Because we're lost, tired, and hungry? Well, yeah. But we wouldn't be lost and tired and hungry if everyone weren't so afraid to be wrong. I say we give up being right and wrong and go get our friend back. Who's with me? What candy bar? I didn't find a candy bar. And if I did, it was stale. Tina? Guys, you have to see it. Wait, T. We want to apologize. We don't really want to. Roar. But we're gonna. We're gonna. We're sorry we fought with you about the crevasse. Well, y you should be because it... We realized our friendship is way more important than who's right and who's wrong. Can't we just forget this whole crevasse thing and be friends again, T? Oh, uh, well... Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter who's right. What matters is, we're friends. There. Now, doesn't that feel better? 
Come on, what do you say we get in a few games of pool before the weekend's over? Absolutely. Sounds good. Okay, so getting all worked up about being right is a good way to wreck a friendship. I mean, is it really such a big deal to be wrong? Answer, no. Anyway, that's why I, well, I don't want to look like I'm trying to prove I'm right, so I can't tell the guys. Come on. It'd ruin everything if they found out I was right the whole time. <laughs> Later days.